Now this is an ultrasound study of the pancreas. This is the transverse section of the body of the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct. This is the superior mesenteric artery transverse section. This is the aorta. This is the superior mesenteric vein. And uh, you can see, the, you will see multiple ecogenic areas, tiny, small, almost uh, 2.8. So, see them and count them. There are numerous. This is the tail of the, this is the tail of the pancreas. Note the ecogenic area tiny ecogenic areas with no posterior wall shadowing. See the number of ecogenic particles. Here you can clearly see the pancreatic duct. And just note the number of ecogenicities. This is a magnified view and you can see multiple calcula within the substance of the pancreas starting from the body to the tail. Now this is the tail of the pancreas. These equogenic tiny particles are cal calcula. These are all calcula as in the center of the stream is the body of the pancreas and see this, see these areas, all these tiny ecogenic particles, hardly giving, few giving commercial artifacts, but this is the splenic vein, the landmark for the identification of the pancreas, the superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery, and this is all pancreas, body of the pancreas. This is the longitudinal view and even in longitudinal view you can see that uh, there are multiple calculi in the head of the pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas. This is the portal vein. Multiple ecogenic areas in the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section and same finding in the transverse section from the tail to the so these are calculated within the scattered throughout the uh, supplementary parenchyma. These are pancreatic calculated. Now once again a small review, this is a longitudinal section of the head of the pancreas, this is the pancreatic duct and this is a tiny ecogenic area, the second one, this is the superior mesenteric vein, this is the saprenic vein, so this area what we are seeing is the pancreas, this is, uh, the, these are very small tiny calculi that are visible in the body of the Pancreas, this is the superior mesenteric artery, this is the aorta in transverse section. So, uh, we do see uh, multiple ecogenic particles within the whole substance of the pancreas. Thank you very much. Now, this is the patient. Uh, the pancreas of which we were uh, scanning. Now in standing position, it becomes more easy to see the pancreas as the, as the uh, organs come downwards. I will place the probe here in the epigastric region and then maneuver it in this direction. This will be the scanning plan and we will try to see if we can get the same findings 
as uh, we were seeing. Okay, now on this screen, you can see the pancreas with multiple lacogenicities occupying all of its parenchyma, its tail, its head, its body, all are there are multiple. You see, this is in one view that we are getting these uh, non-shadowing, uh, uh, shiny calcification, one, two, three, four, and five. This is the head of the pancreas. Head of the pancreas measures 2.3 centimeters. The body, this is the body of the pancreas. And here you can see a very interesting thing that we were not seen while the patient was in supine posture or in left uh, scanning in the supine posture. You see this is the duct. And in the duct you can see there is a calcification. This is a tiny calcification within the duct. This is a magnified view and the duct measures approximately 2.1 and is at the upper limits of normal. This is the pancreas. And if we see some duct uh, calculi in the duct as well, that is very much uh, indicative of uh, that, uh, uh, suggestive of the fact that we are seeing. This is also a tiny calcification. And now these calcifications are within the body of the pancreas. Is these calcifications. This is the subtrainic vein. And this is the duct. D, D will mean the duct. This is the duct. This is the duct. So this is the duct. Now, The duct is at the upper limit, 2.4, and the body of the pancreas measures 1.63 centimeters from here, and in this location, 2.2 uh, centimeters. So the parenchyma of the uh, parenchymal thickness of the uh, pancreas is normal, whereas the ecogenicity of the pancreas is diffusely decreased. You can see that this is a diffuse, decreased parenchymal ecogenicity of that of the pancreas. And the case that we are studying is in fact uh, that of chronic pancreatitis. Now this is a case of chronic pancreatitis in which you, you are seeing multiple calculi in the uh, parenchyma of the pancreas. Here you can see it's a whole thing. Now this is the status of the body and uh, the tail of the pancreas and here I am going to again show you the duct. If I can get the calculus within the duct that I did have shown you, I have shown you, yeah, here it is. I can get many, but let's uh, suffice with this one, in which uh, this is the tiny calcification in a magnified view of the pancreatic uh, body. This is the duct measuring 2.6 millimeters. This is the tiny calcification within the 
This is the duct. Now this area is the duct. And this is the superior mesenteric vein in dilated, uh, sorry, uh, in a magnified view. This is the pancreatic body. This, this area is the pancreatic body in transfer section. This is also the pancreas in, this is the pancreas in transfer section. This is the tail of the pancreas. Now this, what is this linear structure? This is splenic vein, the landmark for the identification of the pancreas. Sorry, splenic vein. Mm -hmm. This is the superior mesenteric artery. No, this is not the superior mesenteric artery. I'm sorry. Here it is. Because superior mesenteric artery has ecogenic borders. Mesenteric artery. Yes. This is the aorta. And these are tiny. The arrows are suggestive, are indicative of uh, These are all non-shadowing tiny calcifications that we are seeing in a case of uh, chronic pancreatitis with a calculus in the pancreatic duct as well. This is a tiny, tiny calculus measuring about 2.2 millimeter within the uh, duct of the pancreas, which is uh, at the upper limit of normal. So this is a case of in fact chronic pancreatitis with the multiple pancreatic calculi in the pancreatic substance as well as in the pancreatic duct. Thank you very much.